The topic here is database constraints. What are they? How are they used? And I'm going to give you an example of putting one into a MySQL database through PHP MyAdmin. So let's consider a database that's based on a library system where we want to represent all the sorts of things to do with the library. Two typical tables within that might be an author's table and a books table. And I've got the appropriate different fields within those two different tables. This is a one-to-many relationship. I've got a primary key field in the author's table, and that's related into a foreign key field in the books table. Breaking that down a little bit further and looking at the actual information that might be represented in each of those different tables, I can see typical authors that are there in an author's table, and I've got a books table holding the different books that those authors have written. I want to focus in on one particular author. It's J.K. Rowling, the famous author that wrote the Harry Potter series. And I can see here on the right all of the different books that are in that table at the moment that has been written by J.K. Rowling. And I can tell that by obviously the database method is just looking at the author ID of J.K. Rowling in the authors table and picking out anywhere where that author ID crops up in the foreign key field in the books table. Let's just filter out all the other records and focus in just on the J.K. Rowling records. Now consider this scenario. What if I want to delete some of the records from these two different tables? Starting with the books table first of all. If I come along and I delete one of those records, there's no problem. Essentially the records that are in the books table that are related to J.K. Rowling are children of J.K. Rowling. And deleting children is not an issue. But what if I go a little bit further and I want to try and delete something from the authors table? Essentially the parent record. I want to delete the J.K. Rowling record. This is a problem because I've still got children that are related to J.K. Rowling in the books table. And again, I can see that in the author foreign key field, the number two, which was J.K. Rowling's number, is still there. Those books are wandering around the database saying that they're related to a particular parent record that doesn't exist anymore. We have now created orphans in the books table. This is a serious issue. It breaks the integrity of the database. And once the integrity of the database is broken, people lose trust in it and they stop using the database. The database essentially becomes useless. So we as database administrators, we need to take steps to try and prevent this type of situation from happening. And what we need to do is we need to create constraints within the database, which are rules that the database system checks anytime that we do an operation to make sure that it's not breaking any of the overall rules that we've created. If we put in an appropriate constraint and we try and come along and delete JK Rowling, what the database will do is check the constraints and make sure that it's not breaking any of the rules. If we have an appropriate constraint here that stops orphans being created, Essentially, it's going to check to see the relationship between J.K. Rowling and any children that it might have in the books table. And if there are children there, it stops that record in the author's table from being deleted. By way of example, I'm now moving over to an SQL database. This is MySQL accessed through the PHP MyAdmin interface. The techniques that I'm going to use here are the same across all relational databases, but just the interface might be different. The examples here are the same as what we've seen before. So moving into the browse, I can see three authors. And into books, I can see my table here with all of the different books, three of them being by J.K. Rowling. The place to find constraints here in PHP MyAdmin is in the Structure tab and in the Relation view. And note that I'm doing it from the children's perspective because that's where the database checks the constraint. Move in here. We have to put a name or a constraint. This is chosen by you. Any name is fine. And I'll move over. I'll find the foreign key field. I find the actual database that I want to set it to, which is the same database usually. I want to relate it to the actual table, which is the author's table, that's the parent's table, and just pick out the column, which is going to be the primary key here. We're just going to take a look at the SQL here, so you can see what the SQL looks like if we want to type it in that way. And otherwise, I'm going to click on save just to put in the constraint. So that constraint has been executed successfully. The constraint is now in place. Let's go here to authors and see if we can delete the JK Rowling record. So now when I try and delete JK Rowling, it's going to come up with an error saying that that constraint has been broken if we try and delete JK Rowling and it will refuse to let you do it. And if we just move back, go back to books and let's see if we can delete those different items. So Philosopher's Stone, Prisoner of Azkaban, and we delete Half-Blood Prince as well. They are the three JK Rowling Harry Potter books. And now if I go back to authors and try and delete J.K. Rowling this time, I can successfully do so. 
So that's a summary of what database constraints are, why they're useful, and how to implement one in MySQL PHP MyAdmin.